welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. Now today we've got exactly that for you. We've got a lovely, lovely lady. She's actually my dog walker. So when I'm filming on days like this, Monty is usually out with her. Oh, Monty is coming on cue. Come and say hello. So he's going to be with us today. Come and sit down, Monty. And she's also bringing her puppy. So if you don't see the dogs around during the filming, it's because it just got a little bit too crazy in here. But I'm standing in front of the rail today because I wanted to give you an idea of what goes on behind the scenes. I posted this on Instagram and I know that a lot of you were quite amazed at how many clothes it took. So Steph, first of all, is a professional dog walker, as in that is her main job. She's got three children. She's got a husband who's away in the military. So she is the definition of that everyday woman putting herself last in the pecking order. And I don't think she's bought clothes for a good number of years. So for Steph, we are starting at the beginning. Now this is called a concierge service. And this is where I go out and buy an entire rail of clothes for my client. But ordinarily, I take those clothes to their house, I look at what they've already got, and then we use these clothes to fill the gaps that they're missing in their wardrobe. So it's always about making the most of what they've currently got. This is how, how many clothes it takes. So if we look at these just briefly, being a dog walker, it's not enough that I just look at dog walking coats for her. I need to look at dog walking coats and evening coats and other daytime coats when she's running around after her children because Steph has got into a little bit of a situation where she's just in a dog walking clothes all the time like even at a weekend when she takes her children swimming for example she's still in that same clothes so she feels like she's lost her identity a little bit so it's really important that I find her something different from her dog walking clothes but that complement her dog walking clothes. So that when she's too busy to get changed into, she's got an alternative, but it's not actually the dog walking jacket. So that's why you're going to see loads of jackets here today. And it's not good enough for me just to get her a down warm coat or a raincoat. I need to think about a lighter coat for the spring season. I need to think about lighter jackets when she just needs something to cover her arms. And then we go down to hoodies and then we've got lighter jumpers. We've got a different type of jacket. We've got all of these jeans. Now, again, she's in between sizes like most of us. So if a client tells me they're an eight to 10, then I can't just buy a size eight or I can't just buy a size 10. And then I have to buy an eight and a 10 from one shop. But that one shop sizing might be different from another shop sizing. So I buy the eight and the 10 in one shop, I buy the eight and the 10 in another, and then at the eight and the 10 in another. And between that, I might buy mom jeans, dad jeans, <laughs> Jeans exist? I don't know if I've just made that up. Mom jeans, straight leg jeans, maybe a skinny jean to go in a welly for dog walking. And then you've got to think about the colours. So you've got blue, black, grey. So then suddenly you've got an entire rail of clothes just to get one or two pairs to fit. And that's why the concierge service is quite expensive, by the way, because it takes forever to shop for this. We've got dog walking trousers here. We've got coordinating caps for outfits. We've got some color here in base layers to go under all of these jackets. And these base layers have then got to coordinate under the hoodies. They've got to coordinate under the jacket. So everything can mix and match. And then down here, we've got some sort of prettier going out type of blouses. Not a lot, you'll see proportion wise that there's probably only 5% of going out stuff in there. The majority is a couple of pairs of heels. You know, I would probably only encourage her to have one pair in her wardrobe because she doesn't go out that much. But everything else is really practical. As always, everything that we put on her today will be linked. It's in the description box. Just click on, on it and it will take you to what's called a moon sift board. And that moon sift board will show you everything in picture form of what we've tried on um, today. Right, here she is, the lovely Steph. So thank you for doing this today. <laughs> so she's literally just come in from walking the dog. She looks, she's got mud on her still. <laughs> and dog hair. And, and dog hair. I have let her put a bit of makeup on because she doesn't want to be on YouTube without makeup. You can see the photos for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the pre photos. Yeah, we have taken some pre photographs of what she did walk in as. But um, Steph, tell the audience your lifestyle. What, what's your situation? 
Um, okay, so I've got three kids, three boys. Um, I'm a military mother. Yeah. So, well, not mother, but yeah, not yeah, wife. A, a, a military mother, <laughs> a military wife. <laughs> um, and so, you know, husband's constantly deployed all the time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of running around and looking after people and yeah. doing everything and. And not really any time for yourself. No. No, 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 no. And as I've already mentioned, Steph is a full-time dog walker. Yep. So yep. you've already done like 50,000 yes, steps. Yes, already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For today. Um, but Steph being Monty's dog walker as well, um, I know a little bit. And I think it's fair to say that you feel like you've lost yourself yeah. a little bit, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, I think yeah. there's a lot of mothers that can relate to this or yeah. people in their 30s. And you get to this age, you're like, who am I? I know you should find yourself in your 20s, but... Yeah, but the reality is you're bottom of the pile usually, yeah, aren't yeah, yeah. you? Yeah, kids come first, husband away, so yeah, he's first. So what it means is your wardrobe hasn't been updated for how many years? I do you have jumpers that I wear dog walking that I've had since 2018. Okay, yeah. all right. So, <laughs> so a long time. So a long time. So we're here to treat her today, but the first thing we're going to do is have a look at her shape. So I'll put at the side of me Steph on Lazy Susan. We usually use this in the academy, so I've started using it for YouTube now. So you'll see her spinning slowly around, so you get a really good idea of a figure but if you want to just stand there that's it and if you just move your hands away the reason I get them to move the hands away is so that you can really see a beautiful figure there and excuse us if you hear the whining but um, Steph has got a puppy here today who we will let in at some point but he's whining at the door bless him but he's playing with Monty so he's absolutely fine so that's the whining you can hear right okay back to Steph's gorgeous obviously she's really lovely and slender and the first thing I always say to all my clients is if you do put on weight where do you feel you put it on uh it's usually around my hips here okay. or my thighs it's usually here around nothing really goes anywhere here. else it's just here okay all right so if we take a look at Steph then what we can see is exactly where she thinks she puts on weight we can see a little bit of an extra amount around this hip area so but she's incredibly slender up here so it makes her what we call a classic pear shape but remember if you've been following me for a while the reason I don't like to label that so much is because when people are told that they're a pear-shaped, it means all you do is focus on that what's down here. Yeah. So everybody looks for the best pair of trousers to hide their hips. But the reality is, that's you. You yeah. can't do anything about that right now, here and now, and especially with the amount of exercise that yeah, you do. Yeah, no, you would think, you know, but no, yeah. everyone still has the issues. Exactly, yeah. so that is your shape. Yeah. So we can't do anything about this area, but we can do something about balancing this area. Because if you just come in front there, just so people can see, that's it. So what we need to do, we need to find the widest point here and make sure that we pull out this side to balance out those hips. Now, it's not, you know, if I was to be really exact, we'd be pulling her out about that much and that would be, you'd look like a... American footballer. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to go quite that much, but the idea is that we'll build some volume up here, then you won't notice your hips as much. Yeah. Wow, look at her gorgeous waist. So I don't even need to, to mention that, but that gorgeous waist is going to look even more tiny okay. when we do that sort of thing. But I think the key today is practical dressing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so lifestyle wise, it's really important that we get to grips on what that is for you. And that is, well, I'm covered in mud, dog hair, kids, mm -hmm. you know, like, so as you can probably imagine, I'm, you know, I need some practical clothes that are easy to wash and just, yeah, look. I look still nice and nice looking and things like yes. that. So it's very hard to find practical clothes that can look fashionable. Yes. And that's where I think I've lost myself. I've gone the whole practical look to the shops where you can buy all your camping gear. But actually, in reality, that's not really me. I like to yeah. still look a bit I think more we, like me. Yeah, and we said the other day, like when you go swimming with the kids, you don't want to be in your dog walking no, stuff, do you? and I just but... find that I'm in this rut now where... I just resort to the same outfits or the same clothes because it's easy just to whack it on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I've just got myself into a rut. 
Yeah. So, so what we will do today and what I do with all my clients is every time that she's got a new outfit, I, we take a photograph and then you'll be able to scroll through your phone and say, oh, I'll have outfit 37 on today. So I can just... Just yeah. not think oh, yeah, about that's it. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah so it's, just... it's not thinking about it. But what we'll make sure that you do is that outfit will then extend... When you change the shoes or change the jacket, you can still go and pick the children up or still go yeah. swimming. So there's not such a big leap. And then we've got just one or two nice going out little things Which for I you. need because I just yeah. got rid of them all. Okay, <laughs> great. All right. So let's get started. Okay. Yeah. Right, so first outfit down. What are we thinking? I love it. I love it. It's so lovely. And honestly, I feel so put together oh, that's compared good. to what I normally do. But practical. Yes, and practical. Okay. 100%. Okay. Yeah. So what we've done here, she's basically in a lot of H&M right now. Off camera, what I've been doing is trying on all the different coats with her. So I will put the photographs up at the side of all the different combinations we managed to get out of basically a pair of green leggings and a white top is what we combined yeah. it with, wasn't it? But what we've got here is the green leggings. Obviously, she's got her own Le Chamou. Is that how you say it? I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but I've got those same wellies yeah, as well, they're great. Um, but look at the socks popping out here, they're also neutral, that is important, it does make a difference, it helps break the outfit up. We've got a, like a sports jacket on underneath here, it's practical, it's got lots of zips on, this, oh my goodness, what does so that feel soft. like? It's very silky. It's, it's really lovely. silky. So it's uh, Uniglow and it's like a, the most perfect base layers. So I've got a lot from Uniglow today, actually. The prices are really good and the fabrics are really lovely. And that's part of their heat technology range. Which is very important. In very, my job, yes. very important. So also what's important is that she's got layers on because you get hot once you start walking, yes. don't you? Yeah, yeah. So here we've got a lot of layers on. Here is something... That I've just introduced us to, which she's not quite sure about, but what's around her neck here is a snood. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> there you go, you just pop it up like that. She could then pop the other hood up, and she's got some warmth as well. We've also got a beanie as well. Put a hat on like that. There you go, do you want to have a quick look in the, the mirror? Yeah. Does that feel more like you? Yes, a little bit more like me. Okay. Yeah. I often say this, this is where I deal with personalities. I might love the idea of the snood, they're really trendy at the moment, but my client might not. So I always have to have something like that, then an alternative as well at hand. So the bag, Uniglow, practical. Yes, yeah, perfect. Re really, really nice and practical. Now, the one thing I would ask you all is, have you noticed her hips? No, you haven't. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I wasn't looking at that. Yeah. No. Have you even thought about it? No, I haven't. No. No, nothing. Not at all. And now a lot of people are going to say to me, the jacket hits at what is meant to be her widest part. Now, if you read the theory on body shape and things like that, they'll say never hit at your widest part. But actually, when you've got everything else going on, so down here we've balanced her legs out a little bit, so we've actually added volume with the socks and the wellies. We've added volume up here on the top, and actually what it's created is a lovely hourglass shape. And it hasn't added any volume to her hip area at all, because what you're doing is you're looking at her as an entire outfit. Your eyes aren't just looking down at that lined area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, okay. okay. So that looks really lovely, but what we're going to do is show you a few alternatives on the coats depending on the weather situations for her. So we'll just grab those for you. Okay, so we've just changed it up just a little bit for her now with this really great down jacket from H&M. Really, really warm. I've also got it in the long sleeve version yeah. for you as well. Coordinated a little bit of a cap if it's sunny for her. Yeah, you, yeah, look very too, you look way too glamorous yeah. now to, uh, to walk Monty. <laughs> he won't know who I am. I know, he won't, he won't know who to pound over to. But this is really, really great as well. Now, one, one of the reasons why it's working is the fresh white underneath it. And also, the green top here is matching the green leggings. So you've probably heard me say this a lot, but I always tend to match my leggings and my gym top. Even with the white top that you had on earlier on, you could just see the strap of the green and it just helps to look stylish and just to bring everything together, really. This you can nip in at the waist to give you more. 
it's down but she's still got her arms out so we're just talking about practical styling but this is going to look great with a pair of jeans as well yeah. and yeah so another good one um we couldn't do a dog walking thing without a barber jacket <laughs> <laughs> but i think it's fair to say you love this one don't yes, you yes i do okay it's and it's particularly you like the jawstring to give you yeah, a little it just gives me a bit more shape yeah, yeah yeah really really nice so a barber is immensely practical waterproof i'm sorry the dog is a <laughs> the dog is a scratching at the door should we dare let them in for a second we'll Maybe, we'll, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll let them in just for a second so you can see them hello, here we go hello, goose. Hello, this is this goose. is goose and obviously you all know monty <laughs> But what you won't know is that Monty's original name was Maverick and now we have Goose. So if any of you are Top Gun fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so all we've done here, I think we had the white jumper on in the last one, did we? Yes, yes, yes we, we did. Yes. Okay, so all we've done is added a rain jacket. This rain jacket is from Sea Salt. Really, really practical, waterproof, 100% waterproof, um, obviously long as well for going through. She walks on the plains, don't yes. you? So yeah. like, you know, brambles and things like that. So it stops your legs getting cut up. Uh, it's longer at the back. Do you want to just do a, a turn? There you go. So it's covering a lot of her legs, basically. And all we've done is change the shoe out of her welly because often you're going from you, well, you take your wellies off, don't you, in yeah. the car? Yeah. And then you wear a practical boot. Just to drop dogs off, and then so I'm not dragging mud through people's houses or yeah. anything like that. And obviously, it's not really practical driving in wellies. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. yeah, something like this is perfect and stylish. Exactly. So, it's going to coordinate with everything. Yeah. So, when you do just nip to the shops in between, yeah. you feel School a little run. School run. Anything. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, we'll easy do the school run in something like yeah. that. So, yeah, another great practical option. Okay, here's a classic for you. Steph. Oh, no, I'm not sure if I like pink. Try it on, Steph. What does Steph think? I love it. I love it. <laughs> so sometimes you just have to try these things on and um, or trust your stylist. Yes, yes. Trust you do know what you're doing, I guess. Your <laughs> but how lovely does that look? It just brightens her up completely. And we know that now all of those coats are going to go really nice with those yeah. colourings as well. So the green leggings that you had on at the start, yeah. that would go lovely with the pink as well. Yeah. Really, really nice. So everything's going to coordinate lovely. So she's got on a Converse high top, giving her that extra inch or so. So all we've got on here is a white exercise vest top, which has also got the bra in, so she doesn't have to worry about the support on there as well. We have pulled out the little lovely Monica Vinader necklace there, and I just think that looks really super casual and lovely. It it's lovely. Really nice. So what we should try now is just inserting the jeans instead of the jogging pants, yeah. just to elevate that look up a little bit. There you go, as simple as that. All we have done is put a pair of jeans on. These are a mom jean from H&M. I have got these for you without the rips in okay. as well. So what I love about these is that they're already coming in at that perfect ankle length for you so you don't need to turn them up or anything on those lines and that's really nice and we've just noticed that this jumper has got pockets we love we love a pocket yeah, it's really <laughs> nice notice i've got a little bit baggier on the top as well and that is to balance out this as well so it's to broaden her to recreate the hourglass shape are these the ones that you had on instagram the other day um no they weren't, no, but I know the ones you... They, oh, they, they were, were really nice. Yeah, no, they were H&M. Yes, they were H&M. They were mom jeans as well. In fact, if anybody isn't over on Instagram, then that's where I do sort of daily updates, lots of behind the scenes. Did you see all your clothes on there? I did. Yes, I you did. got a little, yeah, little sorry, sneak look. Yeah, so I do behind the scenes on there, and I've also started to do YouTube shorts as well, of little behind the scenes clips. So have a look at some of those if you're interested and if you can't wait for another week. Um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, the dogs are going mental outside. <laughs> right, we'll try something else on for you now. So back in another dog walking outfit, she put this jacket on. You didn't like it at the start, did you? No, I think it was this part. Oh, you did, did like the skirt. Yes. She was like, it's a bit peppermy. Yes. But I was like, well, that's actually what I like about it because you can pull it in if you want to give some shape. It's really really practical in terms of pockets you see how you've got your pocket your hands yeah. in those right now i was just telling her i'll probably wear putting some treats and putting treats yeah. in there but i'll probably wear something like that we're off skiing at easter time where we don't need a coat too big no. but need a windproof coat and that's the type of coat that i would probably wear and for me in spring yeah and we've got some black leggings on from marks and spencers and just her wellies again i can't even remember what we've got on underneath now what have oh. we got on 
Oh, that's nice actually. Do you want to, oh, do you want yes. to see if we can take that off? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and that's what she was hiding underneath. But again, just really, really practical for being out on the plane. So this is slightly lined, isn't it? It's like a, yes. it's it's a, a fleece inside. lining. Yeah. Um, the trousers have got a lovely waistband, so she feels like it's really holding her in flat there. Yeah, really nice. I think just really nice and practical. And no, you can't. She wants to stay on my hat. <laughs> It's a lovely Bali so hat. Lovely. You can have everything else on the two rails, but you're not stealing my hat. <laughs> okay, okay, so just hopping on really quickly. These trousers are too big, but we think they would be really, really brilliant. So they're from Marks and Spencers. They're beautiful fabric. Yeah. Yeah. So super soft, aren't they? I can see where they would look nice. Yes. It's just just that little, little bit, bit too big, aren't they? Sort of. Yeah. You can see it's bagging around her knees here. But in terms of practical style, do you mind if I just yeah. lift these up? So these are an eight in Marks and Spencers, um, but she was just in a ten in the other trousers. So that's how sizes is just absolutely. Um, it doesn't matter what size you are. They're I, just it's so hard to I find know. the right size. Yeah, it really is. So beautiful fabric here. If you just turn around on this side, they've got the pocket here. Now this comes back to, if you are a pear shaped, you would probably think you need to avoid pockets on here, on yeah. the side. Yeah. But what it's doing is, if you just turn face there, so you're adding volume to this bit, which is lower than her hips. So if anything, you're making, rather than her hips on show like that, you're almost adding volume just underneath a hip. So the hips don't look like they stick out as much. So you're almost making that line smoother rather than just jolting out. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So, but they would be really practical. I would have loved these. Yeah, just... so we'll try and get them you in a smaller size. Okay. okay, so we've got some navy leggings on that do now fit. These are from Uniglo. The top is from Uniglo. This is beautifully soft. Oh, it still says the small label. <laughs> Right on your chest. <laughs> okay, so we've got the same Uniglo bag that we had on before, but um, this time in the beige. The colourways are going really nicely, but more importantly, is this colourway will go with the other green leggings yeah. as well. So we're starting to create a mix and match wardrobe now. But I, what I also wanted to show her is how she can take it from, well, I was about to say dog walking, but I'd go into town. With yeah, like I'd, as go, well. I'd go. I'd go into town like this yeah. as well. If we just change them up and just show a little bit of a different style yeah. as well on the jacket. So, so you can see just really, really quickly with a very, very similar jacket, but just slightly different, she can create another look, but one that's more of a Saturday going yeah. swimming type of, type of look as Absolutely. well. That's really, really nice, but we've got another one to show you. <laughs> Okay, now I wouldn't say a totally different look, no. but it's just an elevated look, but you've still got your dog walking clothes on underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I love this. So where we're, oh, one thing I'm just noticing, can you see those sleeves are quite long on you? Yeah. Because you're so small, what I would do is turn those up just so it doesn't feel like it's overwhelming you. Yeah. I often have to do this myself. My husband always says that. Does he? Yeah. yeah. He's like, make sure that... It does make a difference. We do that on both sleeves, but the type of thing I'm always asking my client is, when would you wear this? Is it practical? So yeah. when is it practical for you to wear that? Um, on a Saturday, when yeah. I'm taking my kids swimming and things. It just feels like I'm a bit more put together. Yes. Like, you know, and I know I don't go out a lot, things. but it's... Yeah. It just makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> Less <laughs> tramp, like, you know, and I'm Yeah. <laughs> She said that, not me. <laughs> you never look like a tramp. No, but, you know, a bit more put together and a bit more like, you know, just just nice and basic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Well, you look lovely. What we have done, as well as the coat, the coat is from Zara, by the way, and it's only 29 99 and when I was looking for coats for Steph, I was really mindful that I didn't think she was going to wear like a expensive wool coat because you just don't have the need no, for no. that sort of wool expense really. I feel a bit worried about getting it wrecked Exactly, well, you know. your kids are still young and everything. Where something like this from Zara is £29.99, so £30 
hopefully for most it's not going to break the bank no. um, but it still gives you that chic look yeah and that's what yeah. I'm after yeah. yeah and just to mention we've also elevated the bag here this is a leather one from Mars and Spencer's it's gorgeous and it, actually this was a really good price wearing that coat that will elevate it up again yeah. but equally when you've got your trainers on and that coat you could wear the bum style bag yeah, yeah. and then that sort of the balance is there basically yeah. really yeah. really nice Okay, so all we've got on now is a very plain tracksuit. So what Steph was saying to me off camera is what's the alternative to leggings but still comfort? And this is exactly what it is. And we've also got this tracksuit in navy for, I know a lot of you don't like white, you think it's going to get dirty. Really nice and fresh, the sun is shining here today, even though it's cold. It kind of makes you feel a little yeah, bit, a bit more, lighter. Yeah, a bit, little bit lighter, yeah, it lifts the whole outfit. But we still use the dog walking jacket, which is nice enough to go with sort of everyday stuff as well. And we have got on the New Balance trainers. I've got these trainers. They are so comfy. Yeah, they're they, really nice. They're really, really nice. lovely. And the reason I went for these for her is because I knew within the wardrobe I'd got a lot of green. So I thought this was also always going to tie in nicely with the jacket. So that's the type of detail you want to think about. If you've got pink trainers, think about what else is pink on you as well. But that looks really nice. Yeah, really nice, comfy, yeah. practical, and like I say, available in navy if you don't like the cream. Okay, and just moving away from the sort of hoodies and the sweatshirt type of look, we've got a really simple stripe knit on from H&M. The thing about this one is it's relatively short. Most of them are quite long. So all you do is you put in the very, very tip of the jumper just to give her that extra leg length up there now what i do see people doing all the time is that they'll grab that you're right me sort of yeah, shoving yeah, yeah. they'll do that <laughs> and they'll kind of put it all in like that that's not how we do it so what we do is literally just get the very very end like that you just find in that center bit or if you don't want to go along the center line because perhaps you want to hide a little bit of a tummy and just go at the side instead okay it's quite sorry sorry for my backside audience but have to see it there we go and then just finished off with the same coat that she's really liking so it's just showing you how versatile yeah. things are so you could put your navy leggings with that yeah. as well if you're on a dog walk and then you just put that over the top and quickly you've formed another outfit yeah lovely. yeah really nice Okay, so we're starting to get the uh, sexy steps. Sexy steps. Is, <laughs> sexy step is coming out. Not dog walker steps. No, we've got sexy step. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to send this out to your husband. Uh, where yes. is he at the moment? He's in Africa. Africa, yeah. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, we'll have to send it out to him. This will be out when this YouTube video is out so you can access it. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, that would yeah. be nice. Yeah. Okay, so we've just dressed her up a little bit here. So, that's just to show you how you don't have to be dressed up to the nines no. to like over the top. But I think on yourself, we've got this lovely little silk top, which is great. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking if we sandwich a t shirt in there, I think you'll probably wear the outfit more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because there's 100%. not many occasions for this for you no, in your yeah. lifestyle at the moment, yeah. is there? So uh, we'll try that as well. Okay, now it's rock chick. <laughs> this is a bit more my comfort zone. Is this more your comfort yeah. zone? Okay, yeah. so that's you really need to listen to sort of that gut feeling, yeah. I think. But that looks lovely. I think that's really age appropriate. She's got my feather handbag here, which was from Zara. I don't think that's available anymore, but I'll try and source you a different one. But I just think that's a really yeah. nice, young, funky look. And all we've done is added an ACDC t-shirt. So a little bit of rock in there and a blazer that's going to come lower than her hips here. And it does the all the work for you so it's shaping her in and then it's kicking out so it means her thighs aren't on show it's just super easy to just put on super if you want to go easy. out as well and then all i'd be doing is changing those shoes up for the converse yeah and then you've got a daytime outfit as well perfect perhaps not with the feather handbag in no, the daytime <laughs> okay so next we have this beautifully soft cardigan it feels it's, it's Really nice material. It is very really heavy, nice, but like not it? obviously yeah too heavy. Um, but the reason why I like to put something like this in the wardrobe is 
she's probably got all the coats of all different levels, but you can't wear the coat when you go and see your friend or sit in their house. Yeah. I like to wear my coat in the house, but then this is nice not to have to. Exactly, yeah. so you've got an alternative. Yeah. So even if you sandwich this underneath the coat, you yeah. know, the long beige coat, then you've got something that still looks nice when you take it off. Now, one thing that Steph was conscious about is wearing a heavier boot because you haven't worn that yeah. before, have you? Not and this colour. I have got a heavier yeah. boot. And it's sure. reminding us of our, um, of our military men. Is it it's so American? <laughs> yeah, USA. Sort boot. of uniform. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So, because that's quite a heavy boot down there, I wanted to try and bring in a little bit more femininity for her because when I was trying a hoodie on here for her, she said it was feeling a bit too masculine, masculine. for yeah. you. So, the way in which to do that is to sandwich a tighter top under here, which is showing her beautiful bust line and tiny waist, but then the longer baggy cardigan is still keeping that look a lot more modern. If you went just tight on top and tight on the bottom mm. and then the big shoes, it wouldn't be balanced. You've yeah. always got to think about balance. So this bit is heavy, this bit is heavy, this bit is tight. Yeah. Okay, it's like a, a styling sandwich, yes. if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah, no, I'm happy with this one. Good. It's quite casual, but you know, I still feel put together. Yeah. yeah. Good. All right, let's move on to the next one. So just bringing in now one of the dog walking coats from before and showing her how she can wear it in a natural state. So this has got, you can let go now. Look, look what I've just, look, this is what it does. <laughs> it would keep you warm, wouldn't it? I just couldn't see anything. No, let's, no, keep it like that. There we go. Right, keep talking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, right, yeah, so that's how that goes, but obviously it does look really actually very quite stylish like yeah. that. That high neck is really lovely, but you can open this all the way up like that. So I can breathe. So you can yeah. breathe. <laughs> um, and you can keep going as much as you want. You can pull it in. It is a down jacket. It is from H&M. I've got it in black as well. And it is super duper warm. Really, really nice. She just got it on with a really thin Zara knit and the H&M jeans. To be honest, it's that warm that I, I won't need anything heavier underneath. No, it's so quite warm. you could probably just go in one of those gym tops to yeah. walk the dogs in. Um, yeah, and it's really, really lovely. So yeah, just another option. So we'll keep going and see how many more come off the rail for you. So back to, I wouldn't even say dog walker. You could dog walk in this, but you don't need to dog walk no, in I this. No, I think you this could would be hang Saturday. Out all, yeah, yeah, Saturday hang out all day. So obviously she's got the huge advantage that she's got these lovely slim legs so that she can be wearing a legging like this. But if you haven't, you could wear the boot cut alternative. Uniglo do a really nice one. So do Lululemon. It's a really beautiful shape. It pulls you all in here. So I will link those for you. Um, but I think this is lovely just because it adds a little bit of colour to her. We've got the navy tight top underneath. Do you mind if I just... So that's her top if she needs to take off the pink as in she's got a layer underneath that's coordinating lovely. I've gone slightly oversized on this just to give more of a youthful look. Pull up the sleeves like that so the navy shows. If that sort of hangs down like that, that's when it can start to overwhelm her a little bit. And then you've got the New Balance trainers on that are just bringing everything together. And another lovely, easy, yes. simple outfit. Okay, I think you're about done. Yes. <laughs> so that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching next week we have a what i wore all week video i've been recording that in the background literally just my daily outfits and hoping that it maybe gives some of you a little bit of inspiration oh my outfit today by the way is from bowden shoulders are great for balancing out a bauction blouse and some leather trousers and some very very old shoes from zara so we'll see you again next week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.